I'm going to zoom in on number five and number six coils. You see the fuel injectors to the right. We're going to pan over to the right a little bit. We're going to see the space where the number seven plug's been blown out. First thing we need to do is to make sure that the piston is in the power stroke. We want both of the valves closed because what you're going to be doing is creating some shavings and filings from the aluminum. And we're going to clear those by using compressed air. We want all the air to come back out the spark plug hole and not to get inadvertently uh, shot up through the intake uh, valve where they'll just be sucked into the engine later. So um, you could take off the valve cover. That's what uh, TimeCert recommends that you do. Uh, but I'm not going to spend that much time. What I'm going to do is crank the engine over, feel for the power stroke uh, by the air coming out. The problem with that is on these engines, you can't even get your finger down there. So this is a 5 16 inch fuel line, and I wish it were straighter, but what we're going to do is we're going to try to get it to thread a little bit into the spark plug hole, give it a tug, and so, and so there. Now I've also connected a remote a remote starter uh, to the solenoid. Now the key, the ignition is off so it will not start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger over this hole okay that's the compression stroke. So now I want to be sure that I'm on the downstroke. So what I'm going to do now is see if it'll... Okay, I feel it uh, pulling back. So the valves are closed. When you turn it just a little bit more and you can feel, once you feel a little bit of suction here, it indicates that you're on the power stroke. Uh, so I'm convinced I'm on the power stroke. While this is in there protecting that hole, I'm going to put my finger over it and just blow out any um, loose dust or All right, so now we're actually ready to use the time cert kit. This is the time cert kit. It comes with laminated instructions and everything you need. You can replace up to five uh, threads with this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tool here. Uh, this is a counter bore. This is an extension to allow you to get all the way uh, where the spark plug is. This, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this has a taper on it. These are taper plugs, and so when this taper hits, it's going to stop cutting, so you don't have to worry about going too far. So what you want to do is take a little Allen key, make sure this is all the way in there, tighten it up. You can turn this with this bar if you want, or it's made to accept a 5.8 socket. Uh, if you use the bar, you're probably going to have to remove a lot more stuff off the engine just to be able to rotate it. So I'm going to use a socket. Slip it down in there. Just hold down with pressure. You can see the, the little shoulder that gets cut. Next step is the rooming tool. The rooming tool has a stop collar on it, so it'll only go so far. This will uh, put a chamfer at the very uh, top. So it says to, to pack the flutes with grease in order to catch some of the shavings. I'm just going to check it. Certainly caught the shavings. I think I've got a little bit more to go. This shows after the reaming tool has been used. You can see the nice chamfer.
Next step, after you've thoroughly cleaned out the threads, you thread the insert onto this little tool, in this tool, and then you tighten it. Okay. Put a little thread locker around the middle. can't pull the tool off unless you go down and loosen that little Allen, Allen head. The Allen screw loosened. Now you can go ahead and unscrew the, the setting tool from the insert. The insert in place. Last step, we're putting the driver tool in. Put a little driver oil on the threads.